Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to another SPSS tutorial on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to have another look at proportions. So we aren't going to look at the population mean and or at the sample mean, but we're going to look at proportions. In this case, we have two groups, group number one and group number two. Uh, and they are measured, they have a proportion on depression. So how often they feel depressed during the day. So for example, uh, uh, respondent number one has a depression score of 0.68 which is a proportion, which means that he is depressed 68% of the time. There are 10 respondents in group one and 10 respondents in group two. And we want to know whether there is a significant difference between those groups. Um, and you would often think that you would need the Z scores for this. Uh, and you can calculate the Z scores for this, uh, for this uh, proportion by going to analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives, and then select variables depression and then save standardized values as variables and then press paste and then go to the syntax screen go to syntax select the code and run it uh, and press the big green play button uh, and then you get all the z scores so this is how you can calculate z scores uh, you can use the z scores for uh, regression but in case of an uh, independent samples t-test you will need to calculate it manually, sadly. Uh, but we now know the average mean, if we go back to our descriptives table, we now know the average means, uh, the, where are they over here? The, no, not the set test, the descriptives. Um, oh no, we want to compare, so uh, excuse me. Uh, we want to compare the two means. Uh, so the two average population proportions of the uh, the average population proportions of group one and group two. So we go to analyze, the script, uh, compare means, uh, then the means of the dependent list is depression and the independent uh, list is group. Then we press paste, then we go to the syntax screen, select the code and press the big green play button. And then we can see that the average proportion of group one is 0.74 and the average proportion of group 2 is 0.70. So there is a decrease in depression uh, between the two groups. So there is a difference, but we want to know whether this difference is actually significant or not. And both have a respondent's amount of 10. That's what we already decided earlier. And then you have to use a formula, which I've got over here in paint. And it's that the Z statistic equals the uh, P1, so proportion 1, which is 0.74, minus uh, the proportion number, average proportion number 2, which was 0.70, divided by and then the square root of the average proportion of those two. And you can calculate it by adding them up and dividing it by 2. And then in between 74 and 70 is, of course, 72. So you do the square root of 0.72. Uh, times 1 minus 0.72 times the square root of 1 divided by the respondents of number 1, which is 10, plus 1 divided by uh, the uh, respondents of uh, sample group 2, which was also 10. Uh, and then if you go to the Z statistic, you calculate the Z statistic, it gets to 0 0.201. Uh, and then if you want to know whether this set statistic is actually significant or not, you can go to, uh, where can we select this? Yeah, uh, if you Google Z statistic to P value, then you can select the upper link, quick P value to Z score calculator. The Z score was 0.201, the significance level is 0.05. And in this case, the test was two tailed because we wanted to know whether there was a significant difference between the two. We didn't test whether two was significantly higher or lower than one then it would have been one tilt. But in this case, we wanted to know whether there's a significant difference between the groups. So we can calculate the, uh, so we can calculate uh, it two tilt. And then you press calculate. And then we can see that the P value is 0 0.84, 841 if you round it off. And that is far above the alpha of 0 0.05. So it is not significant. So in this case, there is no significant difference between those groups of proportions. And why is that the case? Well, first of all, because the difference is not that big between 0.74 and 0.70. Uh, 
But second of all, this is a really small sample group. It's only 20 respondents, so only 10 respondents in group one and 10 respondents in group two, which is really, really small. Uh, so therefore, it's really hard to get to a significant difference. Okay, well, uh, if this video was helpful to you, then please leave a like rating on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're new. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.